What is up, everybody? It is Ed at Coralus here today to show you guys a little more in depth than yesterday about some of the new corals that came in. Just wait for a few people to join, then I'll get started. So guys, as you can see, we got a beautiful, beautiful variety of zoanthids here. And some of them are very, very cool. Like, I am a huge fan of, if the clownfish will move out of the way, I am a huge fan of that one right there. Whatever it is. I think I'm going to call it the cherry incinerator, because it sort of looks like a rainbow incinerator, but not really. <laughs> but, uh, and yeah, I love this one too. This one's very cool. And guys, we will be mainly splitting, we will be mainly splitting these up into two deals. One will be, these guys, we're probably going to be splitting these guys up into two categories. One, the $35 rack for one, or you buy five, you get for $125, which is, which saves you $50 if you do 35 times five. And the other rack will be the $75 rack, which... Or five for two seventy-five, which actually saves you a hundred dollars. So very, very good deal over there. And guys, for those of you who don't know, we also have uh, four pulsing zinnia frags left. So if anybody you know out there, or if you yourself needs pulsing zinnia, just let us know, and you know where to find us. Yeah, guys, I'm just loving these zoanthids over here. Moving on, as you guys can see, we also have a bunch of Recordias too, and all of these will be 35 by themselves, or 5 for 25, so that again saves you 50 bucks. So essentially you get one and a half mushrooms for free. <laughs> and yeah guys, I am loving some of these colors on these ones, like orange, and guys by the way, I am featuring the Pollock Lab lens on this video, and it is helping me a lot. And helping you guys a lot by showing you the proper colors of these corals. Well, as proper as they'll get for a phone camera, of course. <laughs> but as you can see, we got lots of pinks, blues, greens, yellows. Pretty much every color of the rainbow besides red for these recording. Well, I mean, I guess I see a little red on some of them. Yeah, guys, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I think this is a... Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what this one is. I know this one's like a looks like a like a brain coral of some sort. And as for these up here, more zoas on here, and these will be split up into the same category as these. We are currently working. Actually, I'm gonna flip over here to Danny really quick. We are currently working on a letter and number system for our corals, so that way we can better organize. And uh, anything to add to that, Dan? Yep. Yeah, actually what I'm working on right now is something pretty awesome for you guys. And I'm going to devote at least two hours a day to this until it's done. Um, two things. One, we're going to put an underwater camera on our website that's going to move around and show you guys. So the whole point of having this labeling system is, so it's basically WYSIWYG all day, every day. If you want to buy something, you're going to get to see a picture of it or a live video of it uh, moments before you purchase it. So. That's something that we want to offer you guys, so you can see the color, um, even as the lights are changing throughout the day, we'll probably save a couple presets um, and have the video take pictures. You guys can see like morning, um, dusk, you know, all that stuff, sunrise, so you can see what the corals look like and under different shades of light. Um, but yeah, it's something we want to do for you guys, just make it easier and also make it more fun. Now you can see corals side by side, you can get a good size comparison. A lot of times you buy a coral and the price is per polyp or something, and we try not to do that. We try to sell them, you know, per frag, and we don't care how many polyps are on there. So you can see Ed's going to show you guys some pretty cool zoas that we just got in, and our collection is just going to keep growing. So as time goes on, um, especially with you guys participating, we're going to keep bringing in new corals hopefully every week, and we want to do this regularly. So 
that way we can make it more fun. And those of you who like doing the live walks and the live streams, we're going to do that for you. So if you see something you like, feel free to um, message Ed or contact us directly or anything to say hi, and we'll hold it for you um, until you can purchase it online. But feel free. You guys enjoy. Ed's doing an awesome job. Um, I'll be here working on this. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Awesome. So yeah, guys, we got some pretty cool Zoas in over here. Uh, sorry, guys, camera won't focus. But yeah, check it out. We got scrambled eggs, sunny D's, dragon eyes. Over here, we got some very cool ones too. Uh, Jawbreaker hornets, fruit loop. Well, no, not fruit loops. Orange oxides, Green Bay Packers. Uh, let's see, cherry fairy. And a bunch of a bunch of other ones. So yeah, guys, go check it out now. And if you guys see anything you like in this video, feel free to ask what it is, and I will totally answer that for you. And in the back, guys, we also have two rainbow bubble tip anemones that are available on our eBay page. Go check them out right now. They are very hot items. I believe they're going for $159 and $199 respectively at the moment however i believe i'm actually doing a sale on one of the rainbow bubble tips on ebay till friday so if you haven't checked it out already and you're looking for a rainbow bubble tip anemone feel free to check that out guys yeah we will be fragging that big piece of gsp back there as well just wanted to shout that out <laughs> and if anybody is interested in, in purchasing the whole thing then just ask us and we will work something out with you guys Back there is sort of the miscellaneous frags that we got. Lots of GSP. If So if anybody needs GSP, same thing with the Xenia guys. You guys know where to find us. And if not, we're on 420 Schuylkill Road, Phoenixville, PA, 19460 if anybody needs that. And in the back, we got some nice, nice Duncan frags actually. And yeah, those ones are going for like 30 to 35 pretty good price pipe organ we also got some gorgonian frags so yeah and i'm very excited guys because gorgonians are some of my i just love gorgonians they just add so much dimension and flow to a tank in a unique way oh, oh also almost forgot guys we also have an elegance in this tank as well so if anyone is looking for a well, this came in as a small, but it's actually pretty decently sized. <laughs> oh, hey, Gabe. Oh. One second, guy. Uh, do you mind getting it? All right, cool. Yep, all right. Sorry, guys, customers at the door. But anyways, Gorgonians, and hey, Gabe, how's it going? I didn't ignore you. And as you guys can see, we actually fragged that weight rainbow Wilsoni from last time, believe it or not. So yeah, that's another one. We also got a few a few miscellaneous frags like some Favias and Pavona and Akan, Borbankai, Ghani, Apora, all, all sorts of other stuff. And guys, here is something else I am very, very, very excited for in the store. And that is, if you guys can see, SPS frags over here, including but not limited to Monty's. And one second, guys. Actually, I'm going to interrupt us because I'm just going to put a mask on really quick. Because, you know, social distant, distancing, right, Dan? Right, Dan, just putting on a mask yeah. is all. Yeah. Yeah, we try to follow our protocol. Yeah. And yeah, if you guys have any questions so far in the chat, or if you just joined and you're trying to figure out what's going on, then feel free to ask me or Dan. Alrighty, mask is on. And yeah, guys, as I was 
As I was saying, I'm very happy for us to have SPS frags in the tank, including but not limited to Monty's and Acros. Yeah, a few more laying around. And I am very, very happy to see these Acros in the store because we have not had some in a very, very long time. And honestly, guys, most of these green ones I'm probably just going to sell for like 25 or 30 or something like that. Um, strawberry shortcakes or or the uh, or the what's it called the red planet and maybe that yellow tips over here actually kind of looks like the yellow tips it's the camera's not doing it justice but yeah those guys will be like 35 to 40 but everything else will pretty much be like 25 bucks acro wise so if you know anybody or if you yourself again is looking for cheap acro frags such as like some green ones or you're just getting into the world of SPS then yeah feel free to check those out same thing with the Montes most of them I'm probably gonna be hey Cody how's it going man how are the chameleons dude but yeah guys Montes will probably be the same most of the greener and you know well well actually probably most of these I'll probably just do for like I was thinking of doing like three for 75 if anybody was interested, so a pack of three for 25 each. And yeah guys, moving on, this is something I'm very excited for also. And guys, just a little side note, this Indo Dragon Soul Torch is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But yeah, this is also something I'm very excited for. We have a little nice Euphelia garden again, once again. Now, I know it's small, but we'll work with it. So, I got, I got hammers over there for anybody who's interested. Lots and lots of hammers. And check out that sweet gold torch in the back. Hope you saved the ones I want. Yeah, Gabe, we'll figure, we'll figure something out. One not doing good, bringing her into that today. Got a cut on arm. Same one with, oh man, Cody, I'm so sorry, man. Uh, yeah, it's always hard when a pet is in pain or suffering. I totally get that as a reptile owner myself and, and just somebody who likes animals and living things in general. I get it when a pet is suffering and stuff, it can be hard, so... My sincere grat gratitude to you, man. But, yeah. Got lots of Euphelia in. And, like I was saying, guys, that gold torch is absolutely sick. We might only be selling it for 400 bucks. So, yeah. If you guys are looking for a gold torch, or if you know anybody who is, for very cheap, you know where to find us. And guys, these Jason Fox bloodshots are doing amazing. Oh, that doesn't work. Growing out more polyps. As you can see, guys, we are ever so continuing to expand our mushroom collection. And there are the cleaner shrimp down there. But yeah, guys, we are continuing to expand our mushroom collection. And for those of you new in the stream, feel free to, again, feel free to ask questions. Uh, feel free to feel free to ask what's going on if you just joined but yeah guys check out these new mushrooms or these ones that we cut actually they're not new but and yeah we will be propagating them for you guys and there's also a very nice blue Duncan over there actually and here's another piece that I was pretty happy that they gave us and the camera doesn't no justice whatsoever. However, I am loving this Deadpool Bower Bank guy over here. Uh, for any of you guys in the chat, if you guys want it now, I'll do it for 90 But, but otherwise, it's going for eBay on at least 150 But if any of you guys are looking for a killer, killer Deadpool Bower Bank guy with the purple stripe and the beautiful orangish red for 90 bucks then then say something now because it's going to be 150 on eBay yeah guys these fish are doing really good actually in here I'm very happy
bacteria wouldn't know what to grow it. And it grows the same thing as the immediate chamber. Yeah, guys, we also got two Melanaris rats in stock, if anybody is interested in them. And you're local, feel free to get a Melanaris rats today. Oh, the Orphix are on. And yeah, guys, even though these are not in the frag tanks in all technicality, and, uh, but yeah, I just want to show you guys this, these guys real quick, the frog spawns, uh, that makes it look too white. But yeah, guys, check it out. These are the sweet blue morph Indonesian frog spawns over here. And these frags are going for, these are big frags, by the way. I know it doesn't look that big on camera. Melnaris Ras is definitely my favorite Ras. So colorful. Agree, Gabe. It's one of them. Oh. Uh-oh. Whoops. Whoopsies. Uh, sorry, guys. Camera's going on wonk. Alrighty, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. The camera went all wonk for a second. Anyways, yeah, these blue morph frog, frog spawns or octus spawns are going in. There's a little hermit crab. All better. Yep, indeed. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if anybody is looking for a killer designer frog spawn morph, these frags are going... How much are these going for again, Dan? The frog spawns are kind of rare. They're just opening because we just turned the lights on a minute ago. Yep, so, and again, this lens is slightly making it... This does not do them justice at all. But in, in reality, these are all double heads and growing. So they're about $200 a head normally. Um, so we're doing like the double heads for like $250, $350, just depending on how much morph is in it. So one of these, we'll just say $250 if you're looking for um, a frag like that. Yep, and guys, that is very... That's a very good deal. So if anybody is interested, please let us know or message us. And yeah, guys, again, this Candy Crush, beautiful. It has doubled in size since having gotten it and since dosing the AB Plus in here. And that's a very beautiful candy cane over there. I started cleaning this morning. <laughs> I always start cleaning and then I um, usually get interrupted halfway through. But, no, not you, man. You're good. <laughs> it's email, it's usually. I'm usually answering emails. Um, in the morning. Do we have this right? Yeah, I got your wrap And yeah, guys, by the way, pictures will, should be up very, very soon. As soon as I'm done this live stream, I'm probably going to start snapping some photos. So yeah, be on the lookout soon for eBay. We're not really sure what we might be doing yet. We might be doing like auctions or like fixed pricing. Let us know, guys, if you have any feedback. Uh, sorry, guys, my battery's going to die soon. But anyways, if you guys have any feedback or if you guys want auctions versus fixed price, message us your opinion or whatever because we always like to hear from our customers. And yeah. Here's another notable mention. Little uh, cro Crotia Clam down there. That's been with us for a while actually. And it's been doing very well. All right, so I see we have 11 people on right now. So, if, do you guys have any questions so far? Anything about the new corals?
And yeah, guys, a little disclaimer. It is slightly cloudy in this tank because we just dosed alkalinity in there. I like that little clan. Yeah, yeah, he's very cool, Gabe. Very cool. And yeah, he's been with us for a few months at that point, that crochet clam over there. So, yeah, he's definitely very healthy. Do you guys have any rainbow A cans available? Let's see, um, rainbow A cans, rainbow, rainbow A cans. Let's see. I think they actually, believe it or not, I think they actually ran out of A-cans on the list. We do have a few, like, a, a few ones, but nothing I would really call rainbow. However, if you're looking for something very similar, but very high-end, I do have two fra two halves of the Bauer Bank Eye, the rainbow, I mean, not the Bauer Bank Eye, the rainbow Wilson Eye. And those are going for, one, I would sell for 200. I'd probably sell this little one on the left for 200. And I would sell that one for 250 on the on the right. And yeah, it's a little more expensive than a Rainbow A can, however, very, very well worth it, especially if you can get it growing. These are a very, very rare coral. But unfortunately, to answer your question, I do not have any Rainbow A cans at, at the moment. I do also, however, have, I do have some pretty cool A cans though, like the Bow, well, even though Bower Bank guys are technically in the homophilia or scoli genus now, I do have this ice or I forget what it's called honeycut bower bank eye or something like that and again that Deadpool bower bank eye if any of you are interested in it is also is also available Bower Bankai are becoming my favorite. They seem to grow quick and they are hardy. Indeed, Gabe, they are very, they are pretty hardy actually. I would, I would argue sometimes they can be even more hardy than the standard Acan or Micromusa these days, but you know, Acanthostrea before. But yeah, I would argue that Bower Bankai can sometimes be easier than even Micromusa or the standard Acans. Uh, I kept telling him, oh, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. The Niger Trigger, Dan? No, the purple tank. You think the purple tank killed that? Yes, I do. Really? Yeah, wow. he was down last night when I was here late. He was chewing them up. Oh, cool. Looks like we got delivery. Oh, nice. They sent it that way. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I guess they, I guess Central, they changed it to UPS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can leave it there, that's fine. I'll put it away. Orange gold hammers, um, let's see. And yeah, Gabe, I definitely agree with you. Bower bank eyes do seem less, much, much less common than the standard Acans or Micromusa. I, unfortunately, I do not have any orange slash yellow hammers. However, however, I do have a gold torch if you were interested in it. Unfortunately, I don't have any orange slash gold hammers though, although I wish I did. Yeah. 
And yeah, guys, I know I already said this about the Indo Dragon Soul, but I just love it so much. There's just something so elegant about the gold and the, the golds and the greens contrasted with the dark purple base. There's just something I like about it. I don't know why. How much is the gold torch? Uh, okay, so it's three ninety nine, right, Dan? Gold torch, three ninety nine. Oh, that double headed. Yeah, the double headed. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's a crazy yeah, deal, but yeah, three ninety nine. Yep. Yeah, guys, that is a killer deal over there. So, if anybody is interested or wants to claim it, please let us know and we will get you taken care of. And if anybody is interested in a sweet eclectus or jawbreaker or candy crush mushroom, please let us know. We will also make sure you're hooked up with those. Alrighty guys, just for the sake of my phone's about to... D well actually Dan, is there a way to plug in my phone? I do have a charger laying around, I'll give you one second. Keep talking to your phone's dead. Yep, alrighty. Yeah, okay. <laughs> alrighty, in that case I'll just talk to my phone's dead. Is anyone online? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's... Gabriel, I'm gonna call him as soon as I get 20 minutes, I, I owe him a phone call. Oh yeah, Gabe, we'll, we'll, we'll get you take care of man. Danny will call you soon if you're still online. Well, regardless, I'll call you soon, but, you know, if you can hear us, then, you know. Yeah, it looks like somebody's getting a chameleon cage. I remember my first chameleon. Now, like, ten. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, apparently this purple tank has been killing a lot, a lot of stuff. Although, the slime fish is doing well, which is always good. I'm available all day, no rush. Alright. Thank you, Gabe. <laughs> yeah, there's the other Melanaris wrasse again. Beautiful, beautiful fish. And over here, guys, I'm just going to divert the attention a little, is our seated media. And, guys, I'm excited for what we're going to do with this live rock eventually. But, anyways, this is about the coral. Yeah, guys, if you guys see anything that, that, that's not on here and you guys are interested in, like, a special coral or something, then we can definitely bring it in for sure. Yeah, I want to start bringing in some more larger LPS corals, like the trachees, the little yep, scolies. scolies. The only reason I didn't do it this trip is because we're trying to give everyone cheap corals and it's hard to get people cheap scolies. Yep. The prices yep. on them are pretty high. So I'd rather sell $25 mushrooms, let you guys buy a pack, mix and match them. So Ed's been crushing it with the five for 125, which means you're basically getting $50 corals for 25 bucks. You get to pick out five for 125, 
and you can do zoanthids, pallies, mushrooms, there's softies there. Um, once we get a little bit organized, you'll be able to pick out Montes, Acros. Pretty much, I'm going to just pass down all the savings. So if you leave by five corals, uh, you're getting you're getting those other ones for free, pretty much. That's You're not going to find that. Yep. They're already heavily discounted anyways, but even if we go off the discounted price, you're still saving like 50 to 100 bucks, depending on whether you do this 35 or the 75. Yeah. We're basically selling at our cost just so that we can give you guys new corals. The only way we can order new corals in is if we make our quotas for each week. And that's one reason why we're really discounting these corals right now. So we can make those quotas, we can get you more stock, more inventory to look at. Um, I would like to see 100 mushrooms in here at any given time. So it's, I don't like dropping down. So like if people are driving from New York, Maryland. We get a lot of people that come from far, far away. And I, nothing makes me more upset if someone drives far and I don't have enough selection for you. So that's one of the things that I want to bring is in new inventory, like I said, weekly. Uh, we're starting to frag a lot more corals. Once I hit my mark on those mushrooms and I can put some away, um, I'll sell the babies for really cheap. It's just that right now we're trying to build up our stock in our inventory. But like I said, once I hit that mark, I have no problem selling candy crushes for people for, you know, the 200 mark. Um, you know, people want to get into the hobby and get something cool without spending 600 bucks on an awesome mushroom. So I do have some baby 24 karat gold bounces. Um, normally those are 600 bucks and I'll do a baby right now for 200, which is awesome. So if somebody's really interested in- That's to a their, great deal, Dan. Yeah, if you want to get your hands on one of those 24 karat gold bounces, that's a great way to do it. Um, yeah, so enjoy. Um, ask around, ask some questions. Ed's here, um, you know, I know most of you guys who are watching are probably expert reefers like Gabriel. Uh, <laughs> you see his tank is pretty incredible. Check out his channel, uh, Gabe's Reef Tampa is the name of the channel and you get to see him he's very uh, blunt with what he does and shows you exactly how he does it so it's a great reefing channel make sure you guys check it out and yeah yeah i might need that phone charger sooner or else it's gonna die <laughs> i have a battery pack actually in my uh, car yeah i'm on three <laughs> percent but that's okay we can plug it in a second we can take a 20 minute break yeah um get some water and we'll come back on uh, but yeah, like I said, I, I just, um, I don't know if Dan's still here. Did he take the stuff out to the truck? Show him the Bashi stump that he just got. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is incredible, okay? Now we just wrapped it up. But this is this system here is to take off this. Unbelievable. Lines. So this is one of Bashi's Smart Series sumps. This is the 48 inch. Um, you can see the amazing flow that it can handle. And the fact that they have so Adjustable gates for the chambers. <laughs> and what happened to it? <laughs> That's weird. There we go. That's okay. It is a little funny sometimes. But if you look in the top, you look down here, you can see this beautiful sump. So this is one of Bashi's, like I said, nice 48 inch smart series. Yeah, very told, beautiful um, sump. Ed, Dan, let's see, whatever you something like this from us, a larger object. We always give away uh, coral cash, just as our way of saying thank you uh, for shopping with us. So basically I gave him some cash for that sale. And if he wants to pick out coral, he can. So if you guys ever do order something through us, like a new tank or new setup, just to get you guys started, we'll throw in some livestock credits for you. So depending on the purchase and how much, you know, on the order, I usually throw 50 to $200 uh, depending on, you know, the, the item, like a skimmer or something. So, yep. All right, you guys. Well, um, is there any questions before we wrap up for now? Because, yep, my phone's about to die. So if there's any last minute questions, any, any interest, any interest in any corals, please let me know. If not, though, Yeah. Thanks for the stream. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you for being there for us, man. Right, Dan? Oh, yeah. Let me pull up. 
appreciate it. Now I gotta find that mushroom. I swear, ever since I put the shrimp on here, they pulling off my little frags. <laughs> There's another one right there. Right. A little baby bubble. Yep. Little bounce bubble. <laughs> little shrimp. All right, Dan. Anything to say before we no, close up? No, just that um, we do have a couple videos that I'm trying to edit right now and get out to you guys. But we have a whole lot going on. So I'm working on a ship in my garage right now for over here. This will be a sunken ship that's going to hang, uh, hold some lights in there over the retail counter. So this is a lot of empty space here, and I'm working on some projects at home. So I'll have to let you guys in, show you that. But yeah, just say goodbye, and we'll see everybody later. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for being with us. Ed out.